Brand new details on that breaking news this noon. Within the past 15 minutes, we have learned that chlorine leak at the wastewater treatment plant in Youngstown has been contained. But this situation is far from over. Emergency crews just shut down part of Hemrod Avenue. WKBN was first on this scene around 1030 to warn you about a chlorine leak at Youngstown wastewater treatment plant. We sprang into action, then sending three crews to cover all the angles of this major breaking news story. Take a look at this map. It shows the exact location of the plant at Poland Avenue and Gibson Street on the city's south side. Even though the leak is contained, businesses in the area remain evacuated and people working in that neighborhood are being told to shelter in place if they smell the gas. Let's get right to First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti, who has been on that scene since the very beginning. Good afternoon, Lauren. As you just mentioned, they do have the leak inside the wastewater treatment plant contained at this hour. That happened just within the last hour, but this is still an ongoing, very fluid situation this afternoon. As you can see, there's still a lot of activity with hazmat and the fire department behind me. This started about quarter after nine this morning. We're told as crews were switching to 2,000 gallon tanks of chlorine, one of them began leaking, causing this facility to be evacuated immediately. But within an hour's time, they evacuated the uh, Performance Place Industrial Park directly across Poland Avenue to the north and east of the wastewater treatment plant. We're told those facilities are now closed for the day. They won't be coming back to work till tomorrow. And in the meantime, we've learned within the last half hour or so, the Hemrod Expressway, which is over my shoulder, and power, uh, Poland Avenue, near the wastewater treatment plant will also be closed until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, just in case. At this point, firefighters, hazmat officials, and workers here at the plant are assessing just how long it will take to clean up the 400 gallons of chlorine that spilled inside the plant that is evaporating, that needs to be cleaned up, very corrosive material. They determine, need to determine how long that process will take, and then once they know that, then they can get a better, clearer picture on how long before this facility can open again and the workers can get back to work. But at this point, as we've said, within the last half hour or so, we've learned the Performance Place Industrial Park will be closed for the rest of the day. Poland Avenue and the Hemrod Express will, will be closed as well. We'll have much more coming up later in this newscast. For now, Lauren, back to you.